What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I am back today to give you guys a huge review. So in today's video, I'll be talking about the Union collaboration with Jordan Brand on the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG NRG in the Storm Blue colorway. These dropped originally on November 17th and then they restocked later on on November 24th. The retail price on these is 190 US dollars and unfortunately there was no Canadian release so there is no Canadian retail price. The official colorway for this shoe is white, storm blue and varsity red and alongside this pair they also released a wolf gray and varsity red colorway as well. So this whole collaboration between Union, which is an LA based boutique along with Jordan brand, is centered around the idea of vintage footwear and vintage apparel. Specifically for the shoes, so for both colorways, essentially what they're doing is taking two distinct colorways of the Air Jordan 1 and then literally mashing them together creating this cut and sew hybrid. So in the case for this one, this combines the bread colorway on the upper along with the storm blue colorway on the bottom. So between the two pairs, the other colorway was released more widely so they are available at select boutiques around the world along with on the sneakers app. But for these guys, these were only available through Union which is where I was able to land my pair. Taking a quick look at the box, so these come in that special edition Jordan brand box. We have all those different advertisements on the top with this red Jumpman right in the center. And then at the bottom of this box, this looks like your normal Air Jordan 1 box. Taking a look at the inside, so this also comes with special edition paper as well. So the paper has a bunch of different sketches along with the Air Jordan and the Union logos as well. So jumping straight into the shoe, first off right off the bat, I gotta say that the quality on this pair is absolutely crazy. Not only is the leather that they use very soft and tumbled, but the cut of the leather itself is very thick. So unlike your standard Jordan 1, there's a noticeable difference and noticeable upgrade with this collab. Taking a closer look at the toe box, so here we have this very soft white colored leather. We have these perforations running throughout as well. Wrapping around the edge of the toe box, we have this storm blue colored leather. And if you take a look at the side where the leather is cut, you can see that there's a hint of yellow giving it a nice contrast as well. We see more of that white leather on the mid panels as well. And then overlaid on top of the panel, we have the storm blue colored swoosh. And this is constructed out of Nubuck. Wrapping around the bottom of the back heel, again, we see the return of that storm blue colored leather. So as I mentioned earlier, this matches the bread on the top of the shoe with the storm blue ones on the bottom. So you can actually see a distinct yellow stitching that runs across the areas where the breads intersect with the storm blues. As for the laces, so they do give you three different lace options. So my favorite of the three are these yellow colored laces. I think it really gives it a nice pop and makes it really, really unique. In addition to these yellow laces, they also give you these two tone laces as well. So on one pair, we have black that turns into white. And on the second pair, we have white that turns into black. Underneath the laces, we have the tongue, which is also constructed using two distinct pieces mashed up into one. So the bottom is white colored nylon and then this is connected to the top which is black colored nylon and then we have this Nike Air Tag in black and red. Unlike your standard Jordan 1, the edges of this tongue have this unfinished effect to them and you can see the exposed foam on the edges. Once again this plays into that whole distressed and vintage concept of this shoe. Surrounding this ankle collar area, here we have this very soft red colored leather. On the lateral side only, we have this oversized Air Jordan Wings logo. This is debossed in black directly into the side panel. Right underneath this, we have this small yellow tag, which has the Union LA branding. At the very top of the shoe around this ankle collar area and the back heel, we have this very unique distressed effect to it. So this is supposed to mimic the OG Jordans that have that very distressed, worn in feel to them. So as a result, this feels very soft and it kind of reminds me of like a worn in sweater. The inside liner of these Jordan 1s is unchanged, so this is just your standard black textile. And then taking a look at the insoles, so these do have special edition insoles as well. So if you take a closer look, we have those sketches once again. And then on the heels, we have both the Air Jordan logo on the left foot and the Union logo on the right foot. In addition, these also come with the special Union and Jordan brand hang tag. So the upper of these Jordan 1s sits atop this foam midsole that's intentionally colored in this off-white or sail color. This is supposed to give off that look of being a vintage or older looking sneaker. Encapsulated underneath the heel but not visible to the eye, we do have a Nike Air Soul unit for cushioning. Turning these over to the bottom, so here we have your standard Air Jordan 1 outsole. In this case, this is entirely constructed out of storm blue colored rubber and then we have this Nike logo right in the center. In terms of sizing, so I felt like these fit exactly the same as all my other Air Jordan 1s, so I stuck with my normal size 10.5. 
For most people, that means true to size. So whatever you normally are for your Jordan 1s, I recommend sticking with that same size for these Union Editions. Comfort wise, so despite being a very high quality sneaker, there really wasn't any difference from a comfort standpoint. With that said though, the Air Jordan 1 is gonna be perfectly fine for just everyday casual use. You will have a lot of ground feel, but you will not have a lot of cushioning underneath your feet. Last but not least, I know I touched upon this earlier, but I want to stress that the quality on this pair is absolutely bananas. You guys really got to get this pair in your hands to understand. From the leather quality to the small little details and all the little touches really makes this shoe one of a kind. In fact, when I first saw pictures of the collection, I was not a fan. To me, it kind of just looked like a Frankenstein kind of sneaker. I wasn't really sure what concept they were going for. But after reading articles about the inspiration behind the design, and then seeing more and more pictures of this pair, I did go 180 on my opinion on these. So with all that being said, now let me lace these up and I'll show you guys how these guys look on feet. Between this one and the black toe pair, so my initial thoughts were that I liked the black toe more because it was a bit more wearable, but then after seeing these yellow laces on the storm blue pair, that's when my mind really changed. This pair in particular really takes that whole concept of mismatching two colors that really don't have any business going together and then actually making it work. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these Union Air Jordan 1s. Between the two, which one was your favorite and did you guys manage to grab a W or take the inevitable L? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.